turn now to a small town in New Jersey, which has created a bridge between the residents and police after the disappearance of a little girl. That's right. Bridge to New Jersey's Police Athletic League, also known as PAL, launched indoor soccer to foster trust between the city's large Spanish speaking immigrant community and the police after five year old Dulce Maria Alaves went missing. Here's ABC's Stephanie Ramos. Welcome to Bridgeton, New Jersey, a small rural town just about 45 minutes south of Philadelphia. It's an old city off the beaten path with about 24,000 residents. Farms and fields take over the landscape. More than half of the people who live here are originally from Latin America. Shops, restaurants and grocery stores dedicated to Latinos line the streets. Many of these businesses still posting these flyers of five year old Dulce Maria Alaves, who went missing September of 2019. It's been really hard for me and for my parents knowing that we Dulce doesn't appear. Nobody knows that where is she? Dulce disappeared while playing at a nearby park with her brother, who was three years old at the time. Dulce's mother sitting in her car just 30 yards away. How do you remember Dulce? She was a sweet girl, nice, loving. She liked to pretend that she was always a princess. She, she liked to be around like smaller kids than her. Yeah, she was, she always liked to give hugs and kisses. Her mother, Noema, tells us there isn't a day she doesn't think about her daughter. I was said that I'm sorry for not looking over her. Investigators clinging to hope that Dulce is still alive. After her disappearance, the city's police athletic league, also known as PAL, launched an indoor soccer program to foster trust between the city's large Spanish speaking immigrant community and the police. For the community, when everything started, they were scared that they were going to get deported because Bridgeton is mostly Mexicans. Bridgeton police officer Josh Thompson says they don't want people to feel scared and withhold information that could delay finding Dulce. It was really go out and extend our hand to let you know that we were really behind you. So we offered up some more programs. More than 40 boys and girls regularly attend the soccer practices. The program also offering counseling sessions, GED instruction and nutrition classes for parents. I play soccer and it was always like a dream to me to play soccer with a team. Desde chiquito me inspira esto. Dulce's disappearance still on everyone's mind. Pasó con Dulce Álvarez afectó mucho a nosotros porque los trajo como una comunidad más fuerte y más unida. With the disappearance of Dulce Alvarez, this helped our community to be stronger and connect more with the people. And that's exactly what this program aims to do. That you don't have to worry about uh, if you're a citizen. If we're focusing on trying to find this young this young lady. If you have any information, you don't have to worry about anything. Dulce's family grateful their little girl hasn't been forgotten. How does it make you feel that Bridgeton is, is keeping Dulce's memory alive? They're not like giving up on her. They're sick. They keep sharing her post. And there's even a tree in the park about her. So every time when kids, adults go there, they see her tree and there's a picture of her there. For GMA3, Stephanie Ramos, Bridge to New Jersey. We thank Stephanie for that and certainly wish the Alaves family the very best. Hope they get some answers soon.